The Grand Canyon Panorama Project allows you to wander around the Grand Canyon in any number of ways, but you may wish to act as if you are hiking along a trail, moving from one panorama location to another in the same order you would reach them if you were actually hiking the trail. You can figure out any number of ways to do this within the project, but we do provide one way to do this very easily. Right now I'm navigating using the contents menu to reach the map for the South Kaibab Trail. Look down at the middle of the bottom of the page, just to the right of the play narrative arrow button, and you see a button showing a backpacker with a small forward arrow. Push this button, as I am doing now, and you go to the first panorama location along the trail, here at the trailhead of the South Kaibab Trail. Having arrived here, you can explore around in this panorama to your heart's content, or, if one is available as it is here, you can push the Play Narrative button to get a guided tour of the panorama location. When you are ready to move on, Notice that the Hike Forward button is still there, down near the middle of the bottom of the screen. Click it again, as I have just done, and you move to the next panorama location along the trail. Here, the switchbacks within the Kaibab Limestone on the South Kaibab Trail. Here again, you can poke around on your own and or play the narrative for a guided tour. But now, when you are ready to move on again, and you look down at the bottom of the screen, you now see two hiker buttons. The hike forward button, again, to take you to the next panorama location along the trail, but also now a hike back button to take you back to the previous panorama location along the trail, which would now take us back to the trailhead. All panorama locations within the project that are located on trails will have the hike forward and hike back buttons, but only the ones that make sense will be enabled. You can't hike back from a trailhead, and you can't hike forward from the end of a trail, but you can go either forward or back from anywhere else in the middle. Now look up to the upper left-hand corner of the page see that there is yet another hiker button, this one without any arrows. I'm going to click it, and I get a list of all the locations I can hike to directly from my current location. From here, on the South Kaibab Trail, at the switchbacks in the Kaibab Limestone, I can either hike down the trail to the Torawi Formation, or I can hike back up the trail to the trailhead. Yes, these choices correspond directly to the hike forward and hike back buttons, and clicking on a list entry, as I am doing now by clicking on the Toro Weep Formation entry, moves your location in just the same way. But this extra hiker button does make sense. I'm going to use the contents menu to jump ahead to the tip-off panorama location further down the South Kaibab Trail. And now, located at the tip-off, which is located at the junction of two trails, the South Kaibab Trail and the Tonto Trail, I'm going to push the hiker button in the top left-hand corner of the page again. And now my list of hiking destinations has four entries, including entries to hike up or down the South Kaibab Trail as we would expect, but we also now have entries to go either east or west on the other trail, the Tonto Trail, which the South Kaibab Trail intersects at this location. Using this virtual hike function, you can wander around on the trails of the Grand Canyon without the heat, without the cold rain or snow, and without ever having to put a 50-pound pack on your back.